Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you three tips for how you can really wow your clients. So we're gonna be talking about client experience. We've been talking about this this week over in the Photo Boss Facebook group, and I've been hearing a lot of amazing feedback from you guys. So I thought I would share three of my own tips, and hopefully these help you to bring a way better experience to your clients in your business. So whether or not you are dealing with portrait clients, wedding clients, or something in between, thinking about your client experience is really, really important because you wanna make sure that you thought about this, that it's intentional, that you're guiding them through a process and not just leaving them in the lurch after they book with you. So the first way that I do this is by being a guide and by being a resource to my clients. And there are so many ways that you could do this to educate them and to help them along the process. But one really great way is to have a series of blog posts that really help answer those frequently asked questions before your clients ever ask you what they should wear, where they should have their session, what time of day, or what tips and tricks they could bring to look better in their photographs and feel more confident you could be a resource to them before they ever ask. You could have these blog posts pre-written out and sent to them as soon as they book so that they know that they're in great hands. So think about ways that you can be a resource and answer those questions that they haven't even thought to ask you yet. The next way that you can wow your clients is through unexpected and surprise custom gifts. So lately, my go-to client gift has been a greetable box. Don't know if you guys have ever seen these. They're adorable. They have these little instructions about how exactly you should open them. But by a company called Greetable, and Greetable was awesome enough to reach out to me today and to sponsor this video so that I could bring this to you as an option. But you can customize the entire thing, the outside, the contents on the inside, and the message. And one thing that I really love about a Greetable, not only is it super affordable and customizable, which can be really difficult to put those two things together, but it has images inside and your client can tear those off, put them on their fridge and it's pictures of them and everybody loves pictures of themselves. So that's something I really love to incorporate inside of my gifts. If you'd like to check out Greetable, see their different options for the inside, the outside and how you could maybe customize this for your business, I'm gonna have it linked down below and they also provided a discount code for you guys for anybody who wants 15% off. So. Um, one really cool thing that I love is that there's a message inside and so you can really customize it to the person but also to the time throughout your client experience. So maybe they just booked and you can say, you know, I'm super excited for your session um, and something sweet towards them. Or you can say, I loved working your wedding. It was amazing, it was such an honor. And it can kind of be something that's wrapping up that experience that you're coming in at the end when they think that you're done, you've forgotten about them and letting them know that they're still special and they're still meaningful to you. So what's really cool is that you can kind of put these anywhere in your client experience timeline that makes sense for your clients. The third and final tip is to under promise and over deliver. A couple of ways that I like to do this is in the timing of the delivery of my photographs. So I know that it's probably not going to take me four to six weeks to deliver a gallery, but that's the time I tell my clients so that when we're two weeks in and I come with their gallery or I send them a box of prints, they're completely caught off guard and they know that I've prioritized them and they feel really, really special. So you can under promise in the timing and you can over promise by coming in a little bit early, but you can also under promise and over deliver in how much many images that you deliver. So think about your process, think about your client workflow right now and where there might be areas that you could under promise and over deliver. So my question of the day for you guys is what is a way that you wow your clients? Do you have a part of your workflow that really tends to make your clients feel taken care of? Do you send a gift? Leave it in the comment section below and I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.